Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for today's video because it is going to be, I believe we're on update number three for the Partners in Cream project pan. This project pan was created by Steph and Dalin, two of my favorite people here on YouTube. So I'll have their channels linked both up in the cards and down in my description box, as well as a playlist where you can find everyone else who is currently participating in this project. There are so many people participating both on Instagram and YouTube. So if you like to binge project pan pictures if you like to binge project pan videos definitely go check out all of the information that i will have linked in my description box where you can find everyone else who is currently participating i have a very exciting progress i will be rolling a one product out and a new product in today finally i believe this is my first roll in a new product <laughs> I feel like that didn't make sense. Uh, if you guys are interested in seeing my progress, stay tuned. First, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I do post videos a minimum of four days a week. So if that is something that interests you, don't forget to hit the subscribe button before moving on. And other than that, let's just jump into the video. All right, so if you guys are new to this project, this is a rolling style project that again was started by Steph and Dalin. And the whole idea was that we focus on, I believe it's three to five or three to six, four to six, Focus on some products that are cream products because as we all know, makeup expires just like food does and other perishable items. So we can't just let it sit in our makeup collection for 10 years, even though I do have some products that are 10 years old. Uh, but we all know that cream products do expire quicker typically than powder products. So we are focusing on cream products within this project. And I know for me personally, I was really excited to work on some cream based products that I don't typically reach for like my cream bronzers and blushes in this project, which brings me to product number one the product that I did complete and finish off and we will be rolling out. And it is the Ulta face sculpting color stick. I had mine in the shade contour. I don't think you can buy these anymore, but I did really enjoy this product. Um, I finished mine off for the most part, like I could scrape a little bit more product out, but I did make an effort to scrape some out. And then I was like, you know what? This just isn't really fun to use anymore. Just because when you scrape the product out, it's really hard to get on your skin and blend out. So I decided to kind of quit where I was at, but I mean, obviously, what am I trying to say? I mean, it's below, like I could not put this on my face unless I scraped it out. So we are calling this one done. I'm very excited about this. This is a product that would have probably been reached for like maybe 10 to 15 times throughout the course of the entire year had it not been in this project. And now it is finished off, which is super, super exciting. Meaning I will be rolling in another product at the end of this video. Moving on to a lipstick that I was working on. I'm working on this little guy, this mini from Marc Jacobs. This is in the shade Slow Burn. And you guys, I really love this color. This is what this looks like. This is a little bit more cool toned on the lips. And first of all, I've kind of forgotten or neglected this product all month long. And then within the last like probably five to seven days, I was like, oh shoot, I should probably use Slow Burn a few times because I've been making really slow progress on this. So I've been bringing this to work with me actually. And at work, I don't like to do like an intense full on lip but I will just take this on my finger a little bit and like dab it on my finger or dab it on my lips, sort of like a blotted lip and top it with either a balm or a gloss. And I have loved the way that that has been looking. I will insert a picture of my tally marks so you can kind of see the progress that we have made. I definitely made the most progress in a given month this past month. I think it'll still take me quite a bit of time to finish this off. I'm really horrible at painting lip products. And I also feel like my lip products also come to like a serious point just the way that i use my lip products so in terms of like tally marks i feel like i've used this quite a bit but because it still comes to such a point it might not look like as much product as i or as much progress as i'm making i don't know if that makes sense but i feel like when i get towards the bottom this will go really really quick again i think this will be in my my project for a couple more months minimum but i do have confidence that i will finish this up before the before the end of the year which is really exciting because like i said i'm very bad at panning lip products specifically like lipsticks and liquid lipsticks and i would like to finish a couple lipsticks off this year this is a lipstick i would potentially consider purchasing 
in a full size in the future i or see if there's something that is dupable within my collection because i just really love the shade on this but really excited about the progress i've been able to make in just this last week because like i said i sort of neglected this all month and then have just been reaching for it a ton within the last five to seven days Next up is a primer that I'm working on. This is my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, and I've made some good progress on this. I feel like my progress this past month has not been as significant. Again, I will post pictures of the progression. I feel like I maybe, with consistent use, have like two months of this left, and I was actually considering rolling in another primer in place of that Ulta Contour Stick just because I don't have another cream bronzer to roll in because the other cream bronzer in my collection is going in my whole collection project pan. But I have like four other primers I want to pan this year. So rather than like making myself compete with all those other primers, I am not going to be rolling another primer in and figured maybe if I finish this guy off then I can roll the primer in that I was thinking about but I still feel like I have a couple months to go on this one. I haven't reached for this one as much this past month. I've recently been trying out the First Aid Beauty Hyaluronic Acid Primer as well as the Tula Face Primer and I love both of them. So I've really been kind of having the itch to reach for both of those and like I said I'm currently trying to pan a couple other primers like my Ofra Radiant Light Primer. I still feel like I have a ways to go on that. So that is my progress on the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Next up we have my Flower Beauty Blush Bombs. This is another product I would not have reached for much at all this year. When I was first invited to join this project, I immediately knew I had, this was like the first product I was like, I am going to hate myself, but I need to put these blush bombs or this liquid blush in this project and I actually have made really good progress. So this is where we started. We were almost brand new and the first month I did not make very significant progress. We just moved down to this line right here. But then this I reached for all the time in February. I moved in the beginning of a the beginning of March. So I had most of my makeup packed up so this was a product obviously that was not packed up in February and I used it all the time and fell in love with it so I made pretty significant progress from February to March and then from March to where we are at now April obviously I've made some pretty significant progress as well I feel like I maybe have one to two more months if I was consistent with this I feel like I could definitely have this finished up by the next update which would be the goal or is my goal but I could also see this taking two more months this is a really really nice one formula I have mine in the shade pinched which I really do enjoy because it is such an easy shade to work with it is just a really beautiful warm colored like pinky nude shade and it gives this sheer sort of gloss to the skin I can either set it with a powder and sometimes I will top it with another blush or I can just wear it on its own and it is really really beautiful and again really easy to work with for a blush formula or a liquid blush formula so I have really been enjoying my time with this and I am, I don't have a ton of other liquid blushes in my collection. I picked up recently the Ilia cream blush and I have a milk cream blush that I really like as well. So maybe I'll move on to a cream blush formula when I finish this, like a cream stick rather than a liquid, but that is my progress on that. And then my fifth and final product that I am working on is this Revlon Candid Foundation in the shade 200. I really love this. I really love the formula on this found. I really love the finish of this foundation. However, this just does not last long enough. So I will not repurchase. I've been trying to only focus on products that I don't plan on repurchasing within Project Pans so that I can legitimately move an item out of my collection rather than move something out just to bring it back in. And I'm really, really close to finishing this. So when we started, we were here. Here's where we were in January. Again, I made pretty good progress in February and then some good progress again in March. So this is where we're at. I feel like this is another one that if I just made a little bit of effort to finish this off, I could definitely finish this by the next update. So I'm hoping to roll in a couple new products the next update. I wish that this lasted longer, but I will be really excited to roll another foundation out. I have had an influx of foundations in the beginning of the year. I purchased way too many and I just would like to move some foundations out of my collection to sort of rein in my foundation inventory again. But that is where we are at with the Revlon Candid Foundation. Now to the product that we will be moving in to replace the Ulta Bronzing Stick. So again, I was pretty convinced I was going to go with a primer 
in its place but this morning I just like really got to thinking because I was again wanting to reach for those new primers that I'm trying and then I was like oh I have all these other primers that I'm trying to pan should I really be rolling in another primer so then I was thinking about possibly doing another foundation but I still have some pretty full foundations that I'm working on in other project pans so I was like eh probably shouldn't do that so I actually decided to go with a liquid eyeshadow and the reason being is I've had a couple of liquid shadows. I was recently swatching all of my liquid shadows and some are pretty close to dying. Like they are just, just about dried up, which makes me really sad because I feel like I just don't reach for my liquid shadow collection very often at all. But I've been more inclined to within the last couple weeks, I think because I know how quickly those go bad. And I've decided to roll in this one from Wander Beauty. I actually already have this swatched right here. It's this beautiful, like, cooler toned champagne shade. And I'm going to give myself a use goal on this rather than to complete this. And my use goal is going to be 15 times. Again, I don't reach for liquid shadows that often, but I want to definitely make more of an effort to reach for my liquid shadows. And I also want to stop buying liquid shadows for the most part because, again, I feel like it's almost just like me throwing my money away just because I never reach for them and then they dry up and go bad. So I'm going to give myself a use goal of using this 15 times. I again decided this morning that I was going to roll this in so I didn't let this settle but I do know I have used this quite a bit and when this settles on its side I definitely see a large window so I'm going to let this settle today and then I will mark it where we are at and see what 15 uses gets us. I think it'll take me a couple of months to hit that 15 use mark unless I'm very very intentional with how I'm using this but it should be also a very easy shade for me to use. Recently I have been layering, so I have Kitten in the liquid shadow, not the liquid glitter and glow from Stila. And I have been setting that down as a base and then going on with like a bronzy shade on top out of one of my Urban Decay palettes and I've loved the way that that's looked. So if I am intentional and remember to put this down as a base most mornings, I feel like I could maybe hit my 15 use goal in a month or two and I'm really interested to see how much product I will have left after using it 15 times. So that will be my goal on this and that is it for this third update in my Partners in Cream project pan. If you guys are doing this project, leave me a comment down below and let me know how it is going or if you're currently working on panning any makeup, I would love to hear how it's going for you guys in the comments down below. Other than that, thank you so much for sticking around to watch today's video and supporting my channel and I will catch you in my next one. Bye.